You may have thought slime became popular within just the last few years, but actually it's been around for almost 100 years. So we decided it would be really fun to make slime for some of our favorite decades. Let's get started. I feel like something's missing. All right, now we're ready. Slime wasn't around in the 1920s yet, but this decade was too iconic not to do. Come on, who doesn't love pearls and gold glitter? The glamour in the 1920s was just unbeatable. To start off, we took some clear slime and bowl of pearls and mixed them together to create this gorgeous pearl crunch bomb. Adding pearls into slime is definitely a new texture for us, but the first time we did it with our mother of pearl slime, you guys were obsessed with it. And to be honest, so are we. After good stretches and pops, we've added on our custom 1920s label. Before we add our pearl slime into our container, let's add on some gold glitter and give it that sparkle to further add to our 1920s slime. Once we popped our slime into the container, we realized we need even more glitter. So we decided to add some more on top to really emphasize the party aesthetic of the 1920s. I think Leonardo DiCaprio would really like the slime. To finish the slime off, we topped it off with a shimmery gold feather clay add-on and then we were done. Now, let's squish. Okay, this needs to switch. Much better. Now we're moving past the 1930s and 1940s and we're gonna go straight into the 50s and 60s, which slime was actually around. While I dye the slimes for these decades, I'll fill you in on a little bit of history of slime. The slime of the time was called Super Stuff, which was released by a company called Wham-O. It was a thicker pink slime and it can be considered one of the earliest forms of slime. But for this slime, we wanted to make it multicolored, so we divided it into four different sections and and dyed each part different color. We started off by attempting to make a mustardy yellow color for the 1960s by combining a little bit of yellow, orange, and brown, and then mix that up. We then decided to go with a light pink color more representative of the 1950s diner era. This part reminded me of the Retro Diner subscription box we released last month. After that, we did a light purple, also for the 50s diner culture. Think old-fashioned soda shop and poodle skirts, that was our inspiration for this color palette. Both these colors are really giving pink ladies from Greece to me. Finally, we took some blue and green dye and dyed our last slime a cute bright aqua color. We then added on our custom 1950s and 60s label and then lined all of our slimes up to roll them together to create that cool tie-dye look inspired by the 60s. I cut a piece off for our container and then added it in. For this slime, we created a peace sign to represent the anti-war movement as well as a guitar clay add-on to represent all the great music that came out in this time period such as Elvis and the Beatles. We also have various charms for these decades including some mushroom charms for the psychedelic vibe of the late 60s as well as a burger, spatula, and striped straw for the diner aesthetic of the 50s. To pay homage to the poppy and colorful style of this time period, we sprinkled in some rainbow sequins and then added on our charms and clay add-on. And then we are done! Honestly, I was a little bit worried that all this put together was going to be a little bit too much, but I really love how it turned out. Okay, time to squish. Moving on to the 1970s and 1980s. Okay, I gotta switch out of this. Much better. During this time, slime was actually popping off. Before I get into the history, I'm going to dye the slime four different neon pigments. 
Okay, back to talking about slime in the 70s. Mattel is actually the company that is credited for creating slime in 1976, even though slime was around beforehand. But the way they produced it and branded it is what made it super popular. In the 80s, it literally made its way into pop culture with the movies like Ghostbuster and shows like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay, back to our 70s and 80s slime. Let's finish dyeing these slimes. These colors are so bright, it honestly is giving highlighter, which is perfect for the super colorful neon vibes of the 80s. After we finish dyeing the slimes, we line them all up once again and roll them together in a cool striped pattern. I then cut off a piece for our container, added on our custom label, and then added our slime in. For this slime, we created a cassette clay add-on because this method of listening to music was super popular at the time. To further add on to our music theme, we topped our slime off with some shimmery music note sprinkles. And for our charms, we took inspo from the 70s and added some sunflower and rainbow charms. We also added on some Tetris block charms and some blue stars for the video game aesthetic since video games reached its mainstream popularity in the 80s. We then added on our cassette tape and we were done. Guys, I'm obsessed with the slime. I think it's the perfect blend of both the 70s and 80s with all the bright neon colors and charms. I'm so excited to squish this and I can't wait to see what the final color will be. So let's squish it. Next up are some of my favorite decades ever, the 90s and the 2000s. You guys are not ready for this outfit change. Do you guys like my Juicy Couture tracksuit? During this time, slime became even more popular, being incorporated into various TV shows and game shows. In the 2000s, with the arrival of the internet, slime became super popular on YouTube and now TikTok. Because I love these eras so much, I actually decided to make an entire slime subscription box dedicated to this era. This box includes not one, but three slimes based on this theme. Instead of making all three slimes for you, I'm going to mix two big batches of our Snoop Frank slime and our Y2K glitch slime. By the way, if you love Y2K era as much as me, you can purchase this Y2K time machine slime box right now on our website. Okay, let's start off with our Y2K glitch. We will start off with a giant batch of clear slime and then add in a scoop of our ultra exclusive holographic glitter. Wow, look at that shine! The way the light is reflecting off this glitter right now is seriously unmatched. Let's keep mixing this in and enjoy the lovely ASMR and all of this slime's shiny effects. Now that everything is mixed all together, let's add on our Y2K glitch label to our slime container and then add in our holographic glitch slime. This slime is simple but stunning. It really captures that Y2K early internet essence. Now let's move on to our second big batch, a crunch bomb that we'll call Snoot Frank. We started off again with a giant batch of crunchy clear slime base and this time instead of adding glitter, we're going to add a ton of Bingsy Bees and colorful Pony Bees. Let's listen to these pours, it's so good. And now let's mix it all together and listen to the ASMR.
Once it's all mixed together, we're ready to pack it with all of the additional sprinkles and charms. We added on our custom Snoop Frank label and then began packing the slime into our container. Now it's time for our colorful assortment of charms. This slime is bright, colorful, and so over the top. I'm obsessed with it. But to make it perfect, we need to have a rainbow and a unicorn charm. And there we have it. This is literally the 2000s in a slime. The box that we created does have one more slime called Slimy Pop based on the iconic candy of the 2000s. And you can get all three of these slimes in our subscription box available right now on our Snoop Slimes website. And it's only available until May 6th, so don't wait too long. If you wanna see the full unboxing of this slime before you purchase, check the description in this video to watch the full unboxing video on our YouTube Shorts page. All right, thanks for going through 100 years of slimes with me and making slimes inspired by my favorite decades. Comment below which decade slime was your favorite. And as always, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on our future videos. And make sure to shop our weekly Friday restocks every Friday at 6 p.m. Central Time. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!